Uh, step 13 tells us to form the corners with right sides together, bring side and lower seams together, having raw edges even and matching small dots. Stitch back stitching at each end and being careful not to catch in the lower edge of pocket. Press seam towards bottom. That's really complicated. It's a lot easier to show. So your bag is laying like this. You're going to open this guy up and you're going to make, see how it used to be here? Open him up and make it lie flat. Mm -hmm. So you pin and we're going to stitch along here. Um, it actually helps to, like this is the edge of your pocket, the bottom edge of your pocket stitching, so it actually helps to sew from this side, so you can, and you just follow right along that line. Really, that's all you want to do. You want to sew along your previous line because that's the bottom of the pocket. check out your work if you want. You don't have to flip it right side out. Um, but it's kind of exciting. So you like have half a bag done at this point. Woo! And the other half is much simpler. So it's more than half. Yeah. Yes. Woo. Yeah. So we're just going to finish up step 14 and Step 14 is starting by sewing the pocket for the middle, but yeah, look at that! That's a really nice, so far so good bag. Yay! That is really big. I like it. Um, pocket. Ah, right. So, step 14, you have these two pockets. They are, for everyone, this is piece five. Um, my stickers have fallen off, but 14 says to make two inside pockets with right sides together, fold pocket along fold line, stitch along seam lines, leaving an opening for turning, trim and s trim seam and corners. What this is a really complicated way of saying is fold it in half, but right sides together. And then you don't have to stitch along this folded line because it's folded, but you're going to stitch along here, here, and here, except we need to leave a little channel to turn it inside out. So a half inch seam allowance once again. This will be easier to see because white will show up really nice on this.
If you haven't uploaded a pivot to your portfolio, this is a really good place to do one. So. Um, so I'm going to leave a little hole here, so I'm going to actually backstitch a little bit before and I'm going to lift up my presser foot and skip forward a couple inches. Drop it back down. Um, my fabric is ruffling up because I didn't trim the threads in between there, but it'll lay flat once I snip them. Okay, so you see that pocket? It's sewn around. And I know that my fabrics weren't meeting here. Um, I decided to go with the half inch on the shorter one. That's okay. But we are going to trim the corners. And that is when we cut diagonal and then we are going to turn it inside out through this little hole and I think I used chopsticks last time but you just need something to gently push out the corners I will probably wind up using these scissors because like I said I like to live dangerously don't live dangerously don't live dangerously people go get a chopstick So you should have a nice square, press that, and you do that to the other piece just like this. And you have two pockets ready for the interior of your bag.